Welcome back. Olami Leko and Digbita, Commissioner for Works, joins us now for this uh, Ogo Investors Forum session. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you so much. Well, your ministry is the one in charge of a large part of infrastructure uh, in the state, and many will be looking to you for how, to a large extent, it succeeds. In terms of infrastructure, I mean, driving through, uh, okay, maybe tell us about those. some of those roads. I mean, the last time we came, we saw them, they were looking spick and span, very clean. But now, it's not looking the same. So that speaks to maintenance. What is the issue about that particular road? Which road are you talking about particularly? Uh, um, I'm driving in from Lagos. Driving in from Lagos from Shagamo, I, I presume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, that's an old road which I've not renewed. It's something that's in the pipeline. We keep maintaining that road constantly. Um, that is the Shagamo Abekuta Road. Uh, it's under constant maintenance. Um, there's a little, there's a story behind it. Anyway, we don't want to go into that. But then we keep maintaining it. It's high maintenance road, and we keep doing that. Uh, but you need to drive around town. All the roads we've done, they're well maintained. You can find any portal. They're very clean. The environment is taking care of that, initial environment. So, all the roads we've worked on, I mean, you can't find any fault. That's what I told you were talking about initially. But even that road you're talking about, uh, there's a plan to renew it totally uh, because the underlying soil is not very good. So we're still going to work on it. And what once that is done, it yeah. comes out from being high maintenance and, of course, comes to just routine maintenance. Perhaps um, maybe you should tell us uh, some of those results you, you have achieved uh, between the last, last time we were here because you were on some projects, I recall, and we spoke uh, uh, about those projects. Uh, what would you be saying about some of them? Well, um, the focus, actually, at this um, uh, forum, the investors forum this year, is on transportation, which is part of infrastructure they're doing. Um, I'm sure you want to talk about the roads that we've done. I'll just, I, I don't want to dwell too much on that. We've achieved uh, a good measure of success on that, on the roads. Um, within Abekuta, you have the state capital. There's so many roads that are completed. They have east traffic congestion in many places. Ijebode is there to see, Shagamu is there, Ota, we've done a lot in Ota, and so on and so forth. We've, done, we've touched virtually every local government in Ogun State in terms of uh, road network uh, that we've done for them. I mean, that's not to say that the work is completed, it's ongoing. <laughs> you know, I actually wanted you to say some things about uh, uh, progress report on those roads because if I'm an investor, I really want to gauge and see the kind of seriousness that the government also has when it says uh, I'm working on a particular project. And now that you've said some of them have been completed and the work is still ongoing in some, uh, what would you be speaking to these investors who are coming in to Ogun State in terms of infrastructure development? and how best uh, they can get uh, to access some of these ones, uh, invariably making their business uh, uh, here quite easy. Well, the pitch you're making, I mean, as, as the forum states today, to make into investors is um, they come and invest on, well, some of our roads. Uh, investors are not there for charity, so it's not a social program. It's going to be, uh, they're going to want to make their money back with profit. So we're going to be in trial presenting to them roads that are tollable. Not all roads are tollable. Tollable? Yeah. I mean, you can put tolls on us. There's some roads that you just have to do for social reasons. You just do it for the citizen. But there's some roads, because of their nature, you can toll them. And these are the kind of roads we'll be introducing to our investors to come and invest in because they can recoup the money, even from the toll alone. Um, so those are the kind of roads we'll be interested in them on. But then, uh, the focus, like I said, is on transportation. We'll not be limiting to roads. Of course, this, we, we have issues with, with the rail. Uh, we'll be unveiling our master plan for the rail. There's a five-phase program. Yeah, you, people come around for the investors forum will see that. Um, right now, we are committed to the first phase. Uh, as I speak, um, the studies are completed. Uh, detailed design has been executed now. Before the end of the year, we should hit the ground on the rail. Um, the phase one, which will be from Abekuta through Shagamu into Lagos to Kara and to Agbado to join with the Lagos Red Line. That's been the first phase uh, because our growth axis is on this Lagos Ibano Expressway. So we're taking our phase one through there. There's a phase two from Abekuta, which also go, goes through E4 and then comes back to Agbado, also joins the Lagos Red Line. Then we have three other phases. Uh, I don't want to delve too much on that, but that's what we're unveiling today. Investors can come in. We are committed on phase one. But investors can come in on phase two, three, four, and five, put their money there, and so phase one, 
entirely handling, handled by the state government? Yeah, um, b b handled by the state government. We were in China with the, Mr. President recently, right. and we got some funding on, from that source. So phase okay. one is sort of settled, sort of. Okay. So, but investors can come in what for phase two, three, line? four, and five. It's a 24, uh, from the time we hit the ground, 24 months. Let me bring this in. Uh, it's about roads, actually. It's, it comes from David. He says in Ogijo, they are yet to see the effects of all of this talk and uh, no good roads there, but they are being taxed. Well, like I said, uh, even if this administration were to spend the next 20 years fixing roads, we can fix everything in Ogo State. Um, there's no point in rehashing this all over again. This is because there's been uh, a lot of neglect over the years. You know, new roads were not done, even the existing ones were not maintained. And um, there's no point again saying that if this one is a federal road, this one is a state road. Because as, as we speak, uh, we're expecting so much money uh, from the federal government uh, for the roads we have done for them. That particular road you mentioned is a federal road. That's not to say we do not consider one as federal people or anything. We, we, we intend to get to Ogijo as well because it's in Ogun State. That's from Shagamu, uh, Ogijo to Ikorodu. That's the road the person is talking about. We've done a lot of palliative work there over the years. I mean, uh, I'm sure the man here will acknowledge that. But you see, the palliative is not the same as actually fixing the problem. Palliative is a stopgap measure. All right, uh, thank you for coming on. Now, uh, Lami Leko and Dick Bitter is the commissioner for works, and he's also going to be playing key roles in this investment forum. We'll be back in another minute to join us again.